And it's a race against time in Florida right now as Hurricane Milton speeds toward Florida's Gulf Coast. The storm is weakened to a strong Category 4 overnight, and Florida officials hope it continues to lose strength, but uh, they promise that they're prepared no matter what. If they have called for your evacuation order, I beg you, I implore you to evacuate. Heavy traffic Monday and even into the overnight hours prove that Floridians are taking the warnings very seriously. A post on Governor Ron DeSantis' Facebook reminds residents that they don't have to go far from home just to be safe. Shelters are ready to help humans and pets, too. And take a look at this. This is the inside of the Tropicana Field at, in St. Petersburg. You can see rows and rows and rows of cots. That's because the governor says this will be used as a home base for out of town first responders that are going to be coming into the area to help with recovery. I mean, when you see that and you see how many they're expecting to be coming in just to you help the with storm. the yeah. emergency yeah. situation, that's when it really kind of opens my mind to how big this storm is. It, it's a big storm. And when you look at this satellite with me, you remember yesterday you saw that really well-defined right. eye, eye, that pinhole mm -hmm. eye. That's an indication of a very strong storm. Now, what's happening is we have an eye replacement cycle happening for us. So the wind feels expanding a bit, but that doesn't mean that it's weakening at all. The winds have come down just a little bit. I expect more strengthening through the day ahead, Madison oh. and Carmen. It's going to be a, a catastrophic storm. Oh. Uh, it's really hard to talk about this as if we take a look at this in a little bit more detail for you on this Tuesday morning. We are continuing to track Milton and the latest advisory shows that Milton is a strong category four with winds sustained at 155 miles per hour. Remember at 157 miles per hour, that is a category five. At one point yesterday, winds were up above 170 miles per hour. So that center of circulation is 85 miles northeast of Progreso, Mexico. It is continuing to move its way to the east at 12. On the forecast track will increase again later today to a category five hurricane. And then as we go in it to probably Wednesday into Wednesday evening, it should weaken just a little bit. Now I want to caution you to say that that doesn't mean that this isn't going to be a dangerous storm. It's going to weaken, cool down, uh, I should say, or lessen uh, to a category three hurricane, still a major hurricane working its way on shore, interacting with a little bit of shear. I'll have more on that coming up a little bit later on and then cross its way on over. So we are continuing to track Milton here from the first alert weather center. We'll have more throughout the morning on that right now. Our temperature is 71 degrees as you step outside two points in the low 50s. So a bit of drier air in place. They can get feel better when you step outside. We're at 64 in Rockwall to 69 in Dallas to 67 in Grand Prairie. Today our temperatures will be into the mid 80s about 86 degrees. So slightly cooler than yesterday. Refreshingly cool the next couple of mornings. But then unfortunately we have this warm pattern continuing. We'll see temperatures back into the 90s through the weekend. We'll have more on that coming up. All right, Scott, just circling back to Hurricane Milton, we appreciate your expertise and your perspective, too, just being chief. Now, some of the same Florida communities ravaged by Hurricane Helene less than two weeks ago are now facing uh, this new threat now. The American Red Cross told us last night that they have an urgent need for blood donors, donations, and boots on the ground to help in Florida. They say that they may need up to 3,000 volunteers to go to Florida. If you'd like to help, go to redcross.org or call one 800 Red Cross.